An effort to end hair discrimination is one step closer to becoming law. The Crown Act would ban discrimination based on hairstyle and texture across the country. The word crown standing for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. It was passed by the House, now heads to the Senate. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell spoke to a local hairstylist who says it is a big step toward acceptance for many women. Mimi Madison has been in the beauty industry for more than 40 years, and she says it looks like times may be changing for the better. And I'm so happy for them that they be able to embrace themselves and feel proud. Is passed. On Friday, the House passed what's called the Crown Act, legislation that would ban discrimination based on hairstyle and texture associated with a particular race or national origin. It's just giving us a lot of acceptance. And while the bill passed with the 235 to 189 vote, it didn't go without criticism. Representative Jim Jordan argued other legislation already covers discrimination and that there are other issues to focus on. But this is what the Democrats are focused on. 14 months of chaos and we're doing a bill on hair. But Representative Michelle Rayner of the Florida House says protection provided by this bill impacts much more than just hair. Until you have a lived experience of what it is to be discriminated with regard to your hair, so much so that it affects your income, it affects your housing, it affects those kinds of things, your ability to live your life. I think that you shouldn't weigh in. And whether it's braids, locks, relaxed or a natural look, hair experts like Madison are just hopeful that future generations will be able to sport their hair without consequence. We, we come of various cultures, various textures, and we're embracing it more. And now that it's being accepted, it makes it easier for, for us to look like what we're supposed to look like and be proud of it. Women and people of color have been fighting for this change for a really long time. The Army opened up the door to this conversation back in 2017, so let's take a deeper dive here into that. The Army has had very strict hair policies requiring women to wear their hair in a tight, slick back bun for years. That is until five years ago. That is when the Army decided to allow women to wear their hair in protective hairstyles like dreadlocks, cornrows, and twists, as long as they could still meet the Army's bun requirement. Now, last year, the Army changed its policy again to allow women to choose between a bun or a ponytail as long as it meets certain length requirements. That policy was changed after leaders realized that frequent bun wearing could cause hair loss. 